Hey everybody, it's Ozzy Rodriguez here with a, another tutorial for you. Uh, this is a continuation to uh, for the HTML, the catalyst uh, that we started um, before. This will be part two. Um, in part one, uh, we just did some setting up of some, uh, like picking out which plugins we're going to use, picking out the theme that we're going to use, the HTML uh, that we're going to start from. And in this, in this part of the tutorial, we'll actually start uh, messing around with it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, uh, and this is where we're at right now, and where we want to end up with is here, uh, which we will. Um, so uh, we're going to go into our dashboard. We're going to go to Catalyst uh, Core Options. Uh, we're going to Nav Bars. And under Nav Bar 1, we're going to set that up to Custom. We'll save our changes. And we're going to go to the content tab. And the website um, is going to use the default uh, right sidebar. And we're not going to use any breadcrumbs. So we're going to get rid of these. And we're going to go to post options. And under default content type, uh, we're going to set that to excerpt. And on the right side, um, here we're going to see dynamic child theme responsive design options and we're going to go ahead and activate those. Save changes. Now we're going to go to the excerpts tab. Okay, so um, since we're going to do the HTML uh, to WordPress conversion, uh, the image sizes that we need are already in place in the theme. Um, so in order to find which images, what sizes we need, uh, we just have to look at the pictures that we're going to be uploading to the site. Um, if we go through our site, I'm not going to do it um, in the video, um, but if we go through our site, um, we look through the images that we'll be using, uh, we notice that we need um, a few sizes. Um, 190 by 275, 518 by 274, and 207 by 187. Uh, so we're going to do this. Um, and we're going to make this 190, and we're going to make this 275. We'll reset and hit uh, 518, 274, and we'll resize this one. Make that 207 by 187. Okay, now we're going to save changes. Um, we're actually going to hit excerpts again. Uh, we're going to go back out, we'll go to excerpts, and now we'll be able to select uh, the custom thumb, custom thumb two for the thumbnails that are going to be used in excerpts, and save changes again. Uh, for the scripts tab, um, this is where we would use, um, like we can put our Google. Uh, so the site is using Google fonts, um, and here's where we're going to add that in. Um, and I already have it copied and pasted. Um, you'd actually be able to look at the the top of the HTML, the index page, and you'll see these lines there. Um, so we're going to use the same ones that they use. And we can enable these scripts, the modernizer, modernizer uh, the respond if you want. Um, so installing our plugins, uh, that's the next step. Um, I'm not going to go into in-depth on to how to install plugins. Um, hopefully you already know how to do that. If not, I'm sure there's some other tutorials that you can do. Um, but again, like in the first part, uh, the tutor the uh, plugins that we're going to use are Soliloquy for our slider. Uh, we're going to use Jetpack for WordPress for the Twitter feed. Uh, we're going to use Fancybox for WordPress for the Lightbox feature. And we're going to use Gravity, Gravity Forms for our contact form. Um, and so again, so the Soliloquy and the Gravity Forms, um, those are paid plugins. Um, so, I mean, they're obviously more than free, but um, they're probably some of the easiest to set up um, and probably some of the, a couple of the best uh, slider and contact forms that you're going to find. Um, so I definitely, if you, if you don't have them already, I definitely uh, suggest you check those out. Um, so we have our plugins activated. Um, now we're going to upload some images, uh, the images that we'll be using. So we're going to go to Media, um, Add New. All right. 
So it's starting to upload. So, um, and then we're going to go into the portfolio um, preview. And we're going to select all of these and put those in as well. So that's crunchy. Um, so after that's uploaded, uh, then we're going to upload our images that we'll be using um, in Catalyst, like in our CSS. Um, and we'll go to Catalyst Dynamic Options. And we're going to go to Images. And we're going to upload uh, the following images. We're going to upload. Um, Oh, we won't use that directory. That one doesn't work because it's inside of a zip file. Um, we'll do this one. So we'll use a P PNG upload image. Um, then we're going to use the site background. And we'll use our Twitter, the Twitter PNG, in the directory. All right. Now we'll save changes. Um, and so now we have the foundation set up. So we have um, the core option set up and what we need. Um, we have our like a custom thumbnail, custom thumbnail sizes. Sorry, um, the images that we're going to be using. Um, we have added those into WordPress. And then we've added the images that are we're going to be using in our CSS. Uh, so we're ready to uh, really get rolling and styling the rest of uh, the site. Um, but that's where we're going to leave it at for now. Um, we'll pick it up the next time, and we'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.